Hey guys, another episode on the road where I'm actually on the road doing trucking. So I drove from, got up early this morning and drove down here to Regina. That's as far as I decided to go today. Um, with the hours I had, I believe I could have gone about as far as Weyburn Estevan, but there ain't a whole lot of truck parking that I know of down there. And not knowing specific spots to park there, it was safer to come to Regina. So I'm here at the Husky on the east side of Regina, which is where I grew up. Literally on the east side of Regina. Literally I can look out the window of my truck and there used to be a field here. We used to jump our, our dirt bikes, our pedal bikes out here. And this Husky's been here forever. So that's where I'm at. I got to see a buddy of mine from high school again. So we hung out, grabbed a bite to eat, hung out, reminiscing about the old days and the stupid stuff we did. And there was a lot of stupid stuff we did. <laughs> Usually involving cars. Yeah. <laughs> Young and free with, with, with cars in a small town like Regina. Yeah. What could go wrong? Yeah, his roommate looks at him a little differently now. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm just kidding. I have to I have to get my jabs in. Um, the drive was way better than I thought because I knew that down here it says Southern Saskatchewan Manitoba border. They got hit with a blizzard Monday, Tuesday, so I expected the worst. But there's no no real snow. It looks no different than a normal springtime in Regina. I didn't really see any extra snow until after I got past Davidson. So that really tells me it was quite localized down here to the south. So that the roads are all clear, so that's good. Um, I did get cut off. Yep. In Lloyd Minister of all places. I stopped at the Husky Travel Center. Grabbed a bite to eat and, and something to drink. And we're going to leave. And they got a huge enter and exit on the east side for us trucks. Like you can get semi truck going out, semi truck coming in at the same time. And we have lots of space. It's great, well designed. So I'm going to make my turn to the, make a left hand turn. Car comes flying through the parking lot, and then stops. As soon as there was a break, they went. Well, I was already rolling. So they cut right in front of me. That warranted not this horn. They didn't get the nice electric horn that sounds like your car horn. They got this one up here in the top corner. The big air horn. That caused everybody to turn and look. Because <laughs> holy jeez. Good thing I got my load strapped down good, because I would have shifted it for sure forward. Stupid people. Don't cut off the trucks. We don't stop well. And if you cut, a, cut us off really good, we may not stop at all. And you'll just become part of the bumper. Or get sucked under the trailer. So, there's my safety announcement for the day. So it was nice to see my buddy from school. It wasn't a bad drive. Um, I haven't looked yet where I plan to go tomorrow. Because I normally just plan a day ahead, truck stop, truck stop. So we'll see how far down I can go. I'm hoping I can get close to my delivery by Sunday. Because it'd be nice to be able to just get in there, make the delivery Monday head off to Arkansas and pick up what turns out to be three horse trailers. So I'm thinking they're definitely the small horse trailers, probably a single horse. And then I bring those up to Millerville. Cool. So maybe I can get a, a night over in Calgary. That would be nice. Can't really go anywhere. I'd have to call and make somebody drive me, drive me around. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. 
we'll see how it goes. I don't know what's happening after that. If they'll keep me going, that'll be good. So it's good money. Like we had a guy while I was tied up in the yard there. I think it was yesterday he came in. He'd been out on the road for over a month. Just came with this big stack of papers of his deliveries. He'd been out on, on the road for a month. I don't know if I can do a month straight like that. I guess it depends. If I didn't have much layover and it was just boom, 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 delivery, 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 layover for 36, back on, more delivery, then that's fine. I like that. That's better. Makes you feel like you're doing something instead of sitting around for a couple days or, or even if it's, you know, you don't have to rush the delivery. So you can take a few days getting there. That's good too. Because it's easier on your body and, and your mind. Because like I've said in the past, when we drive these trucks, we're not just watching out that window. We're watching the side. We're watching our mirrors. We're watching the lower mirrors. Who's beside us? Who's behind us? Who's coming at us? And what you guys are all doing in your cars. Because sometimes you're going to anticipate what that car is going to do by what's going on in the car. I had a guy drive by me today who was on the highway driving like a little bit of an idiot behind me. And then when he passed me, yeah, he had his Bose headphones on. Okay. Another service, public service announcement. If you're going to use your phone and you don't have Bluetooth in your vehicle and you're going to use a headset or whatever, only one earpiece. You don't need two that's interfering with hearing what's going on around you and that's how accidents happen because you're not paying attention like even mine this is what I have one earpiece only and it's still I can hear out this what's going on around me nobody else can apparently it's quite good from what I've been told by people every time I call my mother she still asks if I'm actually driving because she can't tell. Blue paired, awesome. Um, other than that, that's my day. Drove, everything was safe. Made it here, only violated my uh, 30 minute break that I was supposed to take every eight hours because it took too long straightening my trailer, straightening the whole truck and the parking stuff. Is what it is, but it was in the truck stop, so won't get a violent. Shouldn't get any DOT issues because I'm taking the break all night. All right, so talk to you all tomorrow.